What's up guys? Let's keep it short and simple. Since LNG cargo is always boiling off, building up tank pressure, the need to control the pressure is a must. If we don't control the tank pressure, on our tanks will look like this. Okay, that was an exaggeration, but you get my point. What are the factors that affects the tank pressure? Number one is climate. Number two, sea condition. Number three, adjacent tanks or spaces. Now let's talk about the climate. How does it affect the tank pressure? In colder area or winter, the tank pressure still rises, but it's slower. In warmer area or summer, tank pressure rises faster compared to in cold area. This image illustrates how the temperature of the surrounding environment affects the tank pressure. You may pause this video if you want to view this a little longer. Next factor that affects the tank pressure is the sea condition. Sea condition causes the ship to do motions which result to slashing of cargo inside the tank or cargo tank. Due to slashing, frictions between molecules generate heat which rises the tank pressure. The third factor that affects the tank pressure is heat transfer from and adjacent tanks or spaces. This one is self-explanatory. If the adjacent space or the adjacent tank is hot, heat will slowly transfer, making the cargo to evaporate faster. Now, there are a lot of factors that may affect the tank pressure, but these three are the most common one. Cargo tanks on an LNG carriers are designed to hold tank pressure of 250 millibar only. If tank pressure surpassed safety limits, it could damage your cargo tanks. So how to control our tank pressure? Here are the ways to control our tank pressure on board. Number one, manual venting or simply you just call it venting. Number two, gas burning and dumping. Number three, sending it to shore or shore facilities or they call it also vapor return. Now let's discuss it's one of them. Number one, let's talk about venting. Imagine this is your LNG ship. This is what we call the vent mask or mask riser. Let's say this is a cargo tank. Each cargo tank are connected to vent mask number one. Let's say this is the vent mask. When tank pressure rises, we simply direct the flow of the build up pressure towards the bent mass and manually opening the valve to release the built up pressure those resulting to lowering of the tank pressure number two is gas burning and dumping so as always tank pressure is rising we simply direct the flow of the tank pressure towards the engine room after various stages, this vapor LNG will be used as a fuel or 
we just simply burn it. That is why they call it dumping. The third one is sending it to shore facilities. When vessel is alongside in port, we can control the tank pressure by directing the flow of the build-up pressure of the tank to the shore facility. This usually happens during cargo operations. The shore facility will either reliquify it or just burn it. That's why in some terminals, you will see a flare burning because they are just burning it. On board an LNG tanker, we have a lot of pipes on our cargo system. On our next video, let's discuss about this cargo piping system. If you like this video, please click like or you may subscribe and hit this notification bell. Thank you guys!